found a good little good little location to set up in. I didn't really go straight for the progress, you know, for progression. You know what I'm saying? So I'll explain a little bit of what I did here. This is two chunks right now. This chunk right here I dug out specifically for a tree form. You know what I'm saying? It's a pack called FTB Obscurity. I played back in the days on 1.7. In that pack, they had this mod called Compact Machines. And in that mod, you could basically... You could basically go inside of a block. You can inhabit a block. You shrink down and then warp yourself inside of a, basically the size of one Minecraft block. And you could set up a whole room. And in that particular pack, in that particular pack, I made my whole entire base inside of a compact machine. And then I had a few compact machines inside of a compact machine. In there, I, I made a tree form. I had a mob form set up. I had a power system set up all in three different compact machines so I know that you can grow trees inside of, I mean already just from playing vanilla I know that you can grow trees in inside of a block you know what I'm saying so that's what this space right here is for Batania is in this pack from the beginning you have a guilty uh everlasting guilty pulls which is basically just infinite mana so I'm I'm gonna utilize that all the less plays that I've seen, I haven't really seen anybody really utilize it that much. You know what I'm saying? But you basically got, as soon as you get medals, you get money. You know what I'm saying? You got you got all the capabilities of Batania and with, with Everlasting Guilty Pulls, which you can't even make in survival. This is a creative mode only item. You could do all kind of wild things. You know what I'm saying? So my first thing is to set up an automated tree farm. As soon as I get access to medals, you know what I'm saying? The best... The best way I've seen to do that, or the, the first available way to do that in this particular pack is with water strainers. You put the water strainers in the water. You put the nets on top, and they, over time, they generate resources for you. You know what I'm saying? It's probably going to be like nuggets or something like that. And then, you know, you have to craft nine nuggets back into an ingot. But that's going to be probably my first form of metal generation. You know what I'm saying? Unless unless I can figure out how to make a stone generator, you know what I'm saying? There's lava outside, you know, there's water outside, you know what I'm saying? But I make a stone generator, make an orchard, you know what I'm saying? Make an automatic stone farm, you know what I'm saying? Set up a, set up the, uh, an orchard, which is a flower. As long as you put stone down in front of that flower, it'll turn that stone into um into ore for you, ore blocks. You know what I'm saying? They also give you waystones, and there's a couple of structures. There's a couple of structures um that automatically generate. What is that? Some stuff. A couple of structures that automatically generate in this world. One of them I was just at. That that was the Elven Porter that's downstairs with the the turret pylons on top of it. On top of the um guilty pools or whatever. That's one of the structures that spawned. So I just broke that damn board it downstairs. Something stuck in the wall somewhere. I can hear it's loud as hell. Just bought it downstairs. I bought everything downstairs because um I heard about acid rain in this pack. And that's a real thing. You know what I'm saying? I had previously had my tree farm right there. Right there in this little section I dug out. And I was digging down to um down to bedrock right there so I can um find basalt, you know what I'm saying, so I can flake the flint on the basalt to start making my um, base tools that I have right now on me, and then it started raining, you take a lot of damage real quick, and this is early game, you know what I'm saying, but this is the base structure, I also took the waystone, this is the base structure right here, I had a lot of um, fall down right here, I was going to start making my little base or whatever right here, you know, right next to the portal or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I forgot why I left, but I ended up going and looking for um, those different structures. There's a structure from Roots and there's a structure from Batania. I already found them, so I'll show you real quick what they look like. This is the root structure right here. I keep trying to come over here and make sure these don't burn down because I want to take these resources with me. That's the only thing I really care about, just taking these resources with me, but 
the roof is made out of thatch, which is highly flammable. This is always going to light on fire and catch on fire. But this is too many resources for me to take. I, well, I could take some of this stuff right now. But I'm going to come back here and take all of this. I'm going to take the dirt and I'm, hopefully I can make a bucket. You know what I'm saying? 9 out of 10, I won't be able to make a bucket early game. Whatever. And I'm taking these ruin stones because 9 out of 10, that's, that's something important. Roots is a mod I've never really played like that. I know about it. I've seen spotlights on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the information that's on it, I read through the book before. But I don't remember how to actually use it like that. You know what I'm saying? To me, this seems like more of a magic, actual magic mod with no, like, no technical elements to it. You know what I'm saying? From what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Botania isn't really like that. Botania is a magic mod, but it's a tech mod. You know what I'm saying? Once you, if you have the capability to build anything that's automated, any kind of um device that allows you to do things, you know what I'm saying? Automatically. AKA in, in automation. To me, it's the tech mod. So that's the reason why I look at Batani as the tech mod. You know, I haven't really seen that, but Roots. You know what I'm saying? Roots seems like a fun mod to play through. So I'm going to check it out. You know what I'm saying? I kind of wanted to see what the new Thorncraft was like, but I have another pack, Craft of the Titans, uh, Part 2, Craft of the Future, and all that. You know what I'm saying? That has Thorncraft 6 in it. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't fully learned Thorncraft, so that's going to be my way to learn it. I have no actual food on me either. I'm gonna take some of these chests with me. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm, while I'm here, I'm just take some of this stuff. Fills up the inventory very quickly. And, um, because I played with Immersive Craft before, I don't like Immersive Craft like that. You know what I'm saying? I know it's an MC Jetty mod. This is one of his mods that I don't like. I like every single other mod that he has. But I just don't like I don't like the chest. I don't like the shelving um system. I don't like any of that. You know what I'm saying? I understand why he made it though. It's still a good mod. It has its uses. You know what I'm saying? But using it in Subtech in the early beginning was highly annoying. You know what I'm saying? The only thing good about immersive craft is that there's a button, there's a key button to that allow you to place blocks and items that you have on you in the world you know what i'm saying so if i press p then i can place that directly on that block and i could place up to four items within a block space so that's a good that's a good thing with it you know what i'm saying that's what you see in my base all of those blocks that i dug out i just placed them on the ground you know what i'm saying so it's good early game storage and all that you know what i'm saying anyway this is the root structure right here The Batania structure, I respect how we set this up because this is basically everything you need to get started in, in uh, Batania. You got the mana spreaders here, and there's a bunch of these structures, so I'm going to tear down all of this. I'm taking everything, everything. Petal Apothecary, everything. I don't have to make anything. There's two drums of the wild in here. You know what I'm saying? If you hit these drums of the, drums of the wild, they automatically harvest. They automatically um harvest any plants. Where they break any plants that's planted, you know what I'm saying? And then you just have something to collect it. What you would need is a hopper hock, you know what I'm saying? Right next to a chest, and that, that'll automatically collect anything. So this is a, a way to automate your stuff, you know what I'm saying? The book is right there. All the basic flowers that you need are right there, you know what I'm saying? These petals, these flowers, if you put them in your 2 by 2 you can get two petals, out, two petals out of them. If you plant those petals on ground, then um and you bone mill it then you uh, that's a way to uh to double your flowers easily you it, i can plant one down and get 16 32 flowers e easily you know what i'm saying the only issue is bone mill and that's not really a problem because all of this stuff like these these little bones and all of this stuff when you break them you get flint you get uh bones that you can put in your two by two to make bone mill so you good money and it's all over the world, you know what I'm saying? So this is like a phenomenal start to the to the early game. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of grinding, you know what I'm saying? Plus you have a couple high tier blocks and mana splitter, where head splits mana. You know what I'm saying? Mana basically is the energy system for Batania. This is everything. 
You know what I'm saying? And I got these shelves right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to really make these shelves either. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, I'm going to just come and start breaking this stuff down. I haven't even really started the quest the quest line for this yet. You know what I'm saying? I've just been running around exploring. You know, so I've done a little bit, just some of the basics or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to save the progress for later. You know what I'm saying? I'm just coming and collect all of these resources, take them back to the base. You know what I'm saying? But let me head back and put these chests down, and throw these items in there, and I'm going to come right back here. My only issue with um with waystones is this part right here. You got to break the waystone and then set it up again to set up your own name. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this part right here, confusion. I did set my portal up. You know what I'm saying? To have a different name. Because I put it downstairs. And I don't think it's popping up on this list. No, here it is. Initial. I'm going to have to dig one block up. So I don't get, um, so I don't keep taking block damage like that. Suffocation damage. I was going to bring this up anyway. Bring it up one anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I'll leave it like this. Take these out right here. You know what I'm saying? I like this because it's, um, the pack already feels different to me from what I would normally play. You know what I'm saying? Right now, most of my time is invested in the Sevtech. I don't know how long I'm going to keep actually playing the pack because I, I hear people say that the pack falls off around age 4 or age 5. It just turns into a typical um a typical kitchen sink pack. And I've been tired of the kitchen sinks a long time ago. This part right here, placing all of these items inside of the chest gets hyper annoying. Because you, you can easily misplace items. <laughs> but I'm going to just leave it the way it is right now until I make some proper storage. This was on the floor. Let's place it back on the floor. That just sounded like the chimes from a totemic. I don't know where that came from though. One other thing I respect about this pack is there's no inventory tweaks. Every single time you have inventory tweaks, it's like you constantly middle click. No matter what you're doing, you always constantly middle click. This is something that I did in one of my packs. I took it out. You know what I'm saying? To keep like that vanilla feel of having, you know, your inventory is just all over the place. I really don't need a flint and steel. I'll put that over here. Now let's go back and get the rest of the stuff. I'm also taking it slower in this pack. I'm just a uh, whole video. I'm gonna just focus on one task, complete that one task as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? If it, I can't really complete that task, and I'll go and do another task. I forgot what, where, which one I even went to. The most I'll be doing is two two different tasks.
seems like this pack might have better foliage in it. If it does, I'm taking it out. That's a that's a performance of mine. Makes uh trees look like extra leafy and stuff like that. Like the way these thatch blocks look. It's a it's like it's just a visual enhancement type of thing, but it messes with your it messes with your um CPU. It's a lot of processing power. I'm not gonna be able to take all of this with me. I'll take as much as possible. Most of this is like the base stuff that you need to do roots. Alright, cool. That's why I'm taking all of this and I'm taking the dirt because I know dirt's gonna be an issue because this is like a sky block type of pack or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So dirt is always valuable, so is water. Forgot which one I was at. I wish I could move this water, but I know it's gonna take a while to move the bucket. Actually, let me check that. The yeah, plates. This is going to be my way to make plates right here. I'm happy that Magnetic Craft is in here. Corn stone. Really? Obsidian plates? Need to make a Galaga. Yeah, that process is a little bit involved. Like, I... I I'm coming, getting to the point where I don't really like that in packs anymore. You know what I'm saying? I really don't like that anymore. Like, that's like making the pack difficult for the sake of making it difficult. That's not really fun. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather a pack make it... Like, that recipe is not particularly that difficult because it's not that hard to do that. But, um... I want to see somebody actually make a pack where the the pack is difficult due to game mechanics, and not difficult due to recipe. That's like like that's almost like artificial difficulty. I should have made another pickaxe before before I came out here. It's not an issue though. I'll go back and make another one. Let's 
let's take some flint from over here. This process, this is um called napping flint. It's a it's real it's a real life process. That's how they used to make their tools back in like the snow, stone age times and stuff like that. Um, plant twine. That's what I need next. How many have here? Thirty-seven. I like this uh, this mod right here. I forgot what mod this comes from or whatever, but you just press the question mark and then you get this whole. This is way easier to see than versus having everything on the side over here. put these in there I don't know exactly what's what's important for the roots mod but usually any everything that's in the mod is important in some kind of way you know what I'm saying if it's not really important then it's just a decorative item but you no know, that's important as well if you're trying to make your base look like somewhat decent So I've always been the type of pe uh, person that hoards everything. I collect everything because everything is important. You never know when you're gonna need something, and usually that's how I get through all my packs easily. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just like I've been doing that since vanilla. You know what I'm saying? If I'm out and about, I'm killing animals, getting plants, getting sugar cane, mining, getting ores. You know what I'm saying? I might just be going out just to get wool so I can make a bed. You know what I'm saying? But I go, I go and get everything. Because you always need everything. That's not the only way to play it. There's other ways to play it. You know what I'm saying? But I'd rather do it like that because I don't want to keep coming out here and getting everything under the sun. So every single time I go out on any kind of excursion, I'm collecting as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? That subsides um, the whistle name, but it also keeps you a little bit focused and less bored because sometimes it can get like overwhelming and tedious because you, do, you are doing a lot of mundane tasks all the time. You know what I'm saying? But that's the reason why I like automating things. You know what I'm saying? So now, alright, now that I broke all of this down, there's nothing I really want to come back here for. You know, so I could take just a little bit of dirt. You know what I'm saying? Could, yeah, I'm gonna just take the dirt from there. The last thing I'm gonna do is, is break this waystone down and get rid of this location because there's nothing here that I need anymore. I hate destroying water sources, but I'm not going to be able to move it. Not right away anyway, so it don't really matter. And right, that's it for this location. Next is to go get um, everything that I found so far is to get the Britannia stuff. These waystones, you can put them down anywhere, basically, and make that a point that you can teleport to. So that's, that takes that basically off the list. I have no way to put this waste on. I'm just gonna put it on the ground for now. Just 
she did did that with this also. I like this landscape a lot. Like when I was first looking at this pack, I seen this pack back in the day. Like um, I seen Chosen and System do let's plays on this, but this particular pack, I've seen it since uh, there's a live streamer named Four Ounce Scoop. I saw him uh basically alpha and beta test this pack way back in the day. You know, and I thought I thought it was a good looking pack then. No, I didn't know it was a, like the dude that the mod dev that made this made Age of Progression, which is that was an extremely good pack. I didn't know that this was his pack or whatever. He's like like four on scoop is on. He's like one of those live streams. Like he's the, one of the first people I actually started following as far as far, as far as live streams go. Cause I was tired of seeing uh, let's plays where you know they start off one one way like you know real primitive basic you know early game still punching trees and then the next the next two or three episodes they got like just a real elaborate built house out of these crazy expensive materials i got tired of seeing that so i started looking for less streamers i mean live players live players live streamers you know what i'm saying it's the show you know the granular process because this game is granular you know what i'm saying you won't be able to do what you see in those less plays that quickly you know what I'm saying? Especially if you especially if you're playing by yourself. You could do that with a team of people, but not by yourself. So I'm just breaking all of this down because I not until I'm probably not gonna need it again. But it's you know I could use it for automation, you know what I'm saying? Most people wouldn't really think to automate uh th think to automate the Elven portal, you know, in the way that I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Have it converting to something or just have items shooting like a dispenser in front of the Elven portal, shooting items into the to the Elven portal, turning it into something else. You know what I'm saying? Have it being picked up, put back into the system. You never know. You know what I'm saying? And these guilty pools are just these are infinitely useful. Nah, so that's done. So water over there. Should I actually put this waypoint by the water. There's also natural cobblestone generators. Like this, all this green liquid right here is acid. If you jump in there, it's poisonous. But the one good thing about it is that if it hits lava, it acts like a normal water source. And you get a natural cobblestone generator. I think the uh, cobble cobble recipe is changed if I'm not mistaken. Like you need clay to make cobble now. Yeah, you need clay to make cobble. This pack just really has me excited because Batania is so accessible from the beginning of the game. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that's stopping me, where, where's that water source at? I saw it over here. The only thing that's really stopping me is obtaining metal. All the different ingots and stuff. That's the only thing that's really stopping, stopping me from going and doing what I really want. But that's not gonna be too, that much of an issue. You know what I'm saying? You still gonna have to go through the early game grind. Here it is. You still gonna have to go through the early game grind, but. Actually, I wanna be under this roof right here. This little ink wave. All right, we're gonna call this water source. All right, 
let's go to the next next one. I'm gonna leave the chest for last. I'm gonna try to get everything else. Yo, I keep forgetting. I don't have a climbing glove. Playing, been playing Sevtech for too long. Kill all these pixies that's floating around. You get pixie dust, which is important to uh, both roots and uh, botany. Roots cause or something else though. I forgot what you get out of it. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it doesn't kill you. Okay, that's what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's why I don't like being in the rain in this pack. Take a lot of damage, yo. I can eat this. It's not gonna stop raining for a while, so there's nothing I could do. Can I walk? If I, if I got a half a heart, can I at least make it through there? Yeah, it won't. It won't kill you out, right? All right. Yeah, anytime I play MC, I always have a Scandinavian mentality. Early Scandinavian mentality, that Viking mentality. Raid everything, pillage everything. I didn't realize there's a thing under there. Alright. I could take two more plants. Well, one more plant because I'm going to get the seed for it. How come that doesn't float down? Still got space. Nah, look at that. I can take it, the whole thing. Alright, let me just get the rest of this dirt. 
how far is this down now? I need to make a chest in here. Of course, you need a piece of metal to do it. What's this shelf take? I need at least a glass bottle. This I can make. It doesn't provide it. Alright. I'm going to make these right there. Oh, this is acting stupid. That's the only one thing I noticed that this gets glitched out a little bit. Oh, you get sticks. Forgot about that. Oh, I forgot primals in here. I need a saw. Forgot all about that. Oh, I'm good money. I can just make one. Give me a quest. Let's put these sticks down. How do you make these? Oh, you make them out the thin slabs? Alright, uh, I'm making these. These thin slabs are way better. I'm using them in um another plaque I got called Primal Skies. Used it for most of my base. Only four. 
Uh, it's looking like it's, it, they, they don't hold a lot of items. Yeah. Yeah, they don't really hold a lot of items. Try to get as much of this stuff in here as possible. Should have organized all of this stuff. I knew it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be an issue. I hate looking for stuff. I was just trying to do this quick. You know what I'm saying? What the hoppers look like? And they got wooden hoppers in here at all? Here's a wooden hopper. Tinker Skybox, slower, cheaper variant of the hopper. I have to grow a little bit more wood, but I'm going to try to make these. I always like when they have wooden hoppers in here. Because I could just connect all of these chests right here to hoppers. And then have an input chest. Have an input chest, just dump everything in there, throw everything in there, and let itself sort itself. You know what I'm saying? It's way easier to have to deal with this. But I'm probably going to focus on that next time, if I remember to do it. I don't want to have to do, keep doing this. Do I have any seeds in there? I'm just trying to get all this stuff real quick. Harvest everything that I see real quick. I'll come back and organize it later. But yeah, making like an automated uh, sorting system, early game sorting system, that's, that'll be beneficial. I'm going to keep these with me. Probably need it for something else, but I'm going to keep it. For right now, just to, just to uh, make sure I don't actually die from starvation. Let's put this right here. I'm gonna got right here, four right there. Keep that on me. Go get the rest of that stuff. This is one of the next ones I'm gonna break down.
one item. I already got that book though. I don't want to throw away the plants on. I don't want to throw any of this stuff away. Come on, man. Still here. All right. This location is done. Hey, hey, don't put me inside of a block. Nah, these two home portals should be easy to break down. Not really much here. Keep forgetting that Q's on. I don't like having Q as a key bond because I've dropped some valuable stuff in the lava before. Right, I'm gonna say, yeah, no. And so item uses this is going to be Q now. It's easier way to check what the usage is is on an item. Now I could just drop items out of my inventory just by dragging out of my inventory like that. Sometimes it gets annoying when you're trying to do when you're trying to do something like if there's item you have to drop in the world for a crafting recipe. But I'd rather do it like that than risk throwing valuable items like over an edge into the void, into lava. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather do it like that. There's another water source over there, so. I'm gonna set this other waste on over there.
hopefully this won't teleport me into walls. I gotta go back to the other one and make sure I have enough space. Let's put it right here. Give it enough space so I can spawn around it. I'll take this out. What's that up there? What is that? Are those oh no, those are clouds. Thought it was a structure. I don't see anything of interest over here. So Yeah, I'm just call it with this one. There's one right there. The reason why I'm setting setting these waystones at multiple little uh pools of water because I know I'm gonna need it in the future. And it's you can all you never you can never not have enough of something. We're gonna set this one there. Let's put it uh let's put it right here. And I'm gonna give this one a little, little roof. Put a block space around that. I should you cover this up right here, but I'll do that later. Can I transport? Oh, I can't. Didn't know that. Did not know that. So I have to keep using the damn waste on. Right, let's break all of this stuff down. This is what I really want. What did I break? Oh, I broke one of those. Damn. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no, that's two different drums. Drum of the wild, drum of the canopy. The canopy is to break leaves on trees and stuff like that. The other ones for um dang damn my inventory is full now. Take the all of this. I'm taking all those blocks too. Let's take the pedal path to carry. Did I destroy it? Damn, I destroyed it. I wanted that. Oh no, no I didn't. 
I like this color because you usually you always make a cobblestone petal apothecary. You never make the other ones because you just never get around to it. So I like the fact that there's a different style of petal apothecary here. I forgot what the mana star does. I gotta look in the book. I forgot what it does. I never actually used that flower before. The black Portuguese pavement. I never use these blocks either for, for any kind of building projects. I'm definitely taking all of these walls and I'm taking the pure daisy. I'm taking everything. It's crazy how that spawned in. See, I keep, I keep middle clicking. I keep forgetting that you can't middle click in this pack. Let's see how many items. Oh, yeah, it sells way more items. Yeah, these are way better to make. Should have just made those. Black Lotus is always important to have. I don't really actually need them though because I have the guilty pulls. But you throw these into mana pulls and you get um, a lot of mana out of it. Uh, let's just make these in the blocks. Get rid of the rest of this. course place my axe directly into thing broke the jump behind it Ugh. come on let me break the shelf to got that mask I got one of the masks on too Cosmetic mask, I like them though. And they got that one, the ancient mask. I probably could break this one and take all of this stuff too. So let me break it without actually putting it into the shelf. Jesus, man. Alright, let me put some in there. Break it that way. Alright, any more stuff I could bring? I don't know if you could move that flower. Um, oh, you can. I almost don't even care about this stuff except for this one. I want that one. Formation one. I want the conversion one. This is a good chance to show what the conversion one does because I don't have a chance to actually make it in the other pack yet.
Should I still place blocks here? No. Alright. I need to move those. Put some shelves there anyway. Uh, let's just put them in front of here for right now. Yeah, I can still, I can still interact with that. I think every mod on the sun, they need to take a cue from Britannia and set up their documentation the same way as they set up the documents, uh, documentation for all um, the Lexica Botania, Botanica. Still, still, still middle clicking. Corner of the wild, corner of the canopy, you got everything, overgrowth seeds. There's vivid grass, I don't know about this yet. I don't know if, um, I should have bought the book with me. I don't know if you can move this. I gotta look into this to see if you can actually move this without destroying it. Actually, let me just find out. Of course not. I can't move it without destroying it. I think the vivid grass is um what it now turns into if you put an overgrowth seed on top of it. It's metamorphic stone. I didn't even know that. This, that's illumination powder. Can I get that? I don't have a resonating one. There's a way to actually break this back down in the powder, but I forgot how you do it. All right, so let's tear this door down. I 
should bring the crafting table with me. Yeah, these are in the way. I gotta, I gotta put another place, find another place for it. I thought it wouldn't be, and I wouldn't mind it, but that's kind of irritating. Just move these over here. Okay, and take this other one with me. Actually, I'm bringing the conversion wand because I want to show this off. Plus, just for myself, because I've never actually used the wand before. that right here I have another drum with can be somewhere what I do with it Already lost it. Should have put it over here. I found it. What I do with that? It's kind of bugging me. I put it in here. It should have been over here. I don't know what I did with it. I have four of them. You know what I'm saying? Because I had two of them from before. Alright, whatever. Oh, the rest of this can throw that and dump that into the chest. Dirt I'm taking with me. Put the stick back. Why am I missing that? Did I take him from before? Or is this the. I don't know. Whatever. 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 Uh, this is what you can do with the conversion one. Alright, so let me put a piece of dirt down. Alright, so now it tells me I set it to this block. 
So now any blocks that I that I um click on, it's gonna automatically convert all of those blocks into dirt blocks. And it gives me all of these blocks back. Now I can just break the dirt again. And that's the easy way to mine. Like if you're playing vanilla and you got ores or whatever, like a whole vein or you, like a bunch of blocks you want to dig out real quick. Easy, you know what I'm saying? I would actually do this for sand though. Now I don't got to waste my tool or whatever. The only thing I got to worry about is the um the actual bar on this, you know what I'm saying? The starlight bar. But it seems to be nighttime all the time, so. I should actually go back and get the rest of those dirt blocks. Then come right back here. Works out beautifully. Oh, that grass spreads real quick. Spreads real quick. Unfortunately, I'm taking all of this back. As soon as I get metals, the first thing I'm gonna make is mana tools, cause easily repairable. Since I have that everlasting guilty pulls, I basically have unbreakable, unbreakable tools. You know, as long as I got mana tablets on me, that'll keep repairing my tools for me. That's gonna be one of the first things I do. I the ancient. I never actually used one of those before. I forgot what this even does. I'm not gonna destroy the waypoint. I'm gonna keep this waypoint because I won't be able to take this grass with me. 
I might could use this for something else. So I'm gonna just leave a waypoint there. Can you shift click these? Nah. There's a way to get rid of them because I put them down in subtech and then I, I was able to get rid of them and get the powder back. thing about the wand is that it's dangerous you got to make sure you um like if I hit this by accident turn all of these into dirt blocks you know what I'm saying that's the only disadvantage of this one I don't even know how you pronounce that. Aubergine. Aubergine. Look like eggplant to me. What is this? Yo, Terra Aquis is another big mine. That's a, this is a huge mine. There's a lot of items.
<clears throat> technical difficulties. Yeah, but anyway, this this is a large mine. There's a lot of items in here. Glow vapor. This is more like an environmental kind of mine. You know what I'm saying? All right. Another formation one, another conversion one. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to take two of these. Why is, I feel like this stuff missing? Where's the other man installed and the other stuff that I had? I know I'm not bugging. Yeah, I'm definitely not bugging. I had I had more stuff. I might have to watch this video back. Yeah, I'm not bugging because I had another mana star on um, and everything else from before. It seemed like I was missing stuff from before. None of that stuff is here. Oh no, pff, bugging is right there. So tiny. A lot of ones that are forest. Put that right there. I want to just want to make sure all of the botanic stuff is on the wall because that's the first thing I'm gonna be using. Take this stuff off. Rest of this stuff would just get thrown into um, to the chest.
wonder why it generates like that. I wish it didn't generate. I wish it filled up the bottom parts down there. Yeah, see, that's not popping. Wow. Oh, you got to be kidding me, yo. Didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that. 1028, 642. Wow. All right, I'm definitely not walking that distance. I don't I don't care. I'm not walking that distance. That's 500 blocks away. Oh, it shows me which way I got to go. Yeah, that's 500 blocks away. I'm not walking that. One oh three six forty two. Yo, for real? Six forty two, man. Why is it teleporting me down here? I gotta worry about the damn crew. <sighs> of course, I get eaten by the crew. It's ten twenty-eight, six forty-two. So why does it keep teleporting me into the walls? I'm gonna go to ten thirty. I hope my stuff hasn't despawned. Thirty is two one oh five minus six forty two. Six forty five. Yeah, my car, Joe. Keeps teleporting me inside the damn thing. We got, it's, it's gonna be one of them. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them days, yo. Alright, uh, this is what we're gonna do. This doesn't look familiar at all. It was minus 1020, 1028, It's my stuff right there. No, that's my other stuff. I 
Uh, it's, it's not that bad. At least we got a gravestone. I thought I, f I forgot there was a gravestone in here. Usually, it, most of the packs have gravestones. I don't know why I thought that it wasn't no a gravestone in here. Wow. I have no screenshots either. I might be lost. Where the hell am I? That means that death note is the death notes is inaccurate. I don't see any of this stuff around here. Yo, this is easily gonna take me a couple of hours. If it's if it's really like how I'm thinking, it's gonna take me a couple of hours to find where I was at. Trust me, I've done this before. I've done this a couple of times before. Without without even switching in the in the game mode, see, you know what I'm saying? It's, it'll take you eons to find where you was at. That's where Minecraft, real Minecraft, starts kicking in. That's crazy, yo. All right. Is there any way that I can find out where the hell I was at? I don't think I took any screenshots either. <laughs> yo, that pissed me. That kind of that pissed you off, yo. That pissed me off, yo. I can't even think now. It's hard for me to think. Anyway, let's go for my instance. Yeah, I didn't take any screenshots at all. No real reason to take any screenshots, but damn it. No, there's a, there's a map. I forgot there's a map in here. Did I make any waypoints? That's my initial. Yo, who? Yo, so lucky right now. Where the hell did I die? Which one did I die? I died at the other one. Worst case scenario, I have to make all that stuff again, but I can get it back. And these structures are all over the place. I forgot how I even died the first time.
Yeah, this is where I died at. Somewhere over here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Cool. Thank you. Right, we're gonna leave that dirt. I'm not getting dirt. You know what? I'm getting the dirt anyway. I don't care. I didn't get a chance to get the shelf. Can't stack those. Come on, there's an item in the damn shelf, yo. Really? Keep this book on me.
Yeah, oh, this is gonna be annoying. Yeah, that's uh, that's annoying. That's annoying. We're not doing that. I really just need to make a shovel. Start playing games. Let me make a shovel. I don't have any sticks. Any planks either. I don't have any plants wine either. 
gotta make sure I have some of that on deck, yo. I can't access this block because this is the shelf is in the way. Now we're going to pull that down. All right, that's it. That's about it. I'm done for the day. You know what I'm saying? Last thing I'm gonna do is break this, break this waste stone and rename it. Put it back down and rename it. Call the altar too. That's it for now. That's everything I discovered. You know what I'm saying? Everything I discovered. Knock all that down. Put it all back. You know what I'm saying? Next thing is to make the tree form down here. You know what I'm saying? Or make it start a tree form. Because I'm not going to be able to make an automated tree form until, um, like, a fully, it's going to be a fully automatic tree form. I need a munch stew for that. 
I need a couple of lenses to put on put on the mana spreaders. You know what I'm saying to make the um make the pulses the uh, the mana pulses that uh, uh that burst out of the mana spreaders make it solid so it actually breaks blocks. You know what I'm saying. I need a bore a bore a bore lens and a warp lens to uh, make it do that. And I need a munch stool to actually eat the um eat the trees the leaves of the trees that's gonna produce mana. I don't really need any mana because I got these right here, but I'm gonna have some kind of mana storage. You know what I'm saying? Or just let them just eat the eat the eat the leaves and just uh, you know destroy the mana or whatever. Yeah, but that's that's the next step or whatever. And we Gucci, then I'm gonna start working on the book. Start working on the quest quest line for this. You know what I'm saying? We're good to go. So, till next time.